Over the past couple weeks, I've been doing a lot of content when it comes to the best vehicles and things to purchase in 2024, as it is the brand new start of the year. And I wanted to do a bit of a different video topic. So, in today's video, keeping in line with my money grinding roots, we are going to talk about the sheer monstrous amount of money Rockstar has made from shark cards yearly in Grand Theft Auto Online. I'm going to be questioning how people are still in 2024 buying shark cards and at the same time i'll be giving you multiple ways of making money so make sure you stay tuned if you do want to know some of the best ways to make money without wasting your hard-earned real life cash let's first of all start off with the biggest question and something that is actually like giving me a headache when i think about it rockstar has made eight hundred million dollars in 2023 from shark card purchases a lot of you wonder why grand theft auto 6 has not been released yet and there's probably a very substantial reason having to do with the fact that rockstar is literally banking almost a billion dollars a year just from shark card purchases alone that is insane when you think about it i don't understand how people are still purchasing shark cards in 2024. Let's first of all break into the sheer stupidity of purchasing shark cards from Rockstar Games themselves. Now I know, I know some of you are going to go into the comments and type, Dear Pubo Rama, some of us have lives outside making YouTube videos and playing games all day. I work a job and only have two to three hours of the weekends to play this game, so I thought it was okay to spend a couple dollars here and there on shark cards. And that is fully fine. And don't get me wrong, I have no problems if you want to spend your hard-earned money on in-game items. Who am I to say that you can't buy what you want? The reason I'm calling you a doofus is because you're purchasing these items directly from Rockstar Games. If we go to rockstargames.com for a $10 million Megalodon shark card, it is $100 US dollars. This is shark cards for PC, 100 US dollars for 10 million dollars of in-game cash. Now, if I make my way to a website like CD Keys, a website I have used multiple times in the past to purchase literally probably 10, 15, 20 Steam games. You find any game you want on Steam, they are cheaper on CD Keys. The way this works is usually people will mass buy things when they are on sale. So a shark card may have been on sale and CD keys bought a crap ton of them or got the codes for a crap ton of them when they were on sale, purchased them and are now selling them at a slightly increased price. But look at this. I can purchase a Megalodon shark card for $22. $22. 100% confirmed purchase. And it's the same card. Everything is the same as what Rockstar is offering for $100, I can buy on CD keys for one fifth of the price. I don't understand how people are purchasing $800 million a year worth of shark cards from Rockstar when they can go to a very widely known website and purchase the exact same card for one fifth the price. And let's say, okay, well, it's not super cheap if you want to buy it for Xbox. It's $75 instead of, you know, $20. Okay, let's say you want more cash. Well, apparently it's not very challenging. Just googling GTA modded money, you can make your way to a plethora of websites that are pretty well known for giving you hundreds of millions of dollars. PlayStation. All right, well, how about we go to a PC account boost? For $22, I can get any amount of GTA money, and it's pretty dang easy. And websites like Player Auctions are also very, very easy. Look at this guy, 21,000 4.9 star reviews, $7 instant delivery, and I can get $16 trillion in cash without getting banned. Okay, well, let's say you want Xbox Series S or PlayStation 5. Well, don't worry. You can get for $25, $2.5 trillion. Getting money in Grand Theft Auto Online has never been easier. And if you're going to spend money on shark cards, buy them either from websites like CD Keys or buy them from websites like Player Auctions. If you still want to support Rockstar, then buy them from CD Keys, because somebody still had to purchase those codes from Rockstar at a discounted price. If you don't care and you just want to get money, then 
go to websites like player auctions where you can use some sort of modder that'll give you hundreds of millions of dollars on a brand new account. It is so dang easy. So I don't really care for the excuse when people say I work a job, so therefore it's smart for me to waste my money. If you want to waste your money, do it in a way that is much less wasteful. Now let's say you are the kind of person who has some free time on your hands and the ability to grind maybe a couple hours a day or maybe just on the weekends you've got three or four hours to grind. Well, in those three to four hours, I guarantee you can be banking around eight million dollars, which is an insane amount of money. So let's talk about it. First of all, we have the simplest method, which is doing the Kayo Perico heist paired with the Dr. Dre VIP mission when it comes to the agency. Both of these are very solid methods methods, and if you pair them together, you can make around $2 million an hour easily. There's other ways that are super simple as well. Let's say that you don't have the ability to purchase a Kosatka and an agency. Well, just purchase your hands a Kosatka. Then all you need to do is back-to-back -back Kayo Perico. Now, normally you might say, well, there's a two-hour cooldown. How do I do that? Well, very simple. Do the first heist, then swap your online character to a secondary character. You don't need to buy a new version of GTA for this. All you need to do is go to the pause menu, go to online, and press swap character. When you do this, you are able to create a secondary character still associated with your main account. All the money that you put in the bank account of both of these characters will be shared, which means all you need to do is put $2 million into the bank from your main character, go to your swap character alt account, purchase the Kosatka, and do the Kayo Perico heist there. Then you can just do them back to back, minimalizing that cooldown by a crazy amount of time, and once again, making upwards of $2 million an hour. Both of these methods are very easy to do. Let's say that you don't have any time, but you still want to make some money. Well, that's easy because I've made money on AFK methods. You can head over to the horse racing bet area inside the casino. And as long as you're sitting on that computer, you will never be kicked from a GTA online session. Then all you need to do is make sure you've purchased your passive income methods. For example, the bunker, the acid lab supplies, motorcycle clubs, if you want to, but that's up to you. Make sure that your agency passive income is going up, make sure your nightclub passive income is going up. If you have all the businesses running in the background, you can net around two to three million dollars just by doing sale missions the next morning, which is super, super easy and, as you can imagine, doesn't require too much effort. At the end of the day, Making money in Grand Theft Auto Online is not hard. There's a lot of people that act like it is, but it really isn't. And as I said, if you want to spend money on the game, that's fine. But don't waste it on shark cards. There are so many better ways to either make money or get money with your actual money. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I wanted to make this just as a bit of a reminder that uh, purchasing from Rockstar is probably one of the worst ways to do so. And for those of you that are saying, well, Rockstar should be getting the money, blah, blah, blah. Bro, they've made $800 million in 2023 from shark cards, exploiting children on greed. So at the end of the day, I don't feel too bad if somebody goes to a different website and uh, get some money, especially when Rockstar doesn't fix the modding problem themselves.